perfect. record this so uh, I don't know yet I wanted to talk about my new computer um, no there's nothing wrong with my computer um, but I noticed that my most popular video um, in terms of tech reviews unboxing and Henry react videos my most popular video so far has been the Surface Book 2. And I want to say that I really do appreciate that because I did spend a lot of time on that video. Not only recording it, but I actually recorded that video four times. And I never posted it and I never finished editing it for several reasons. And that's really what I want to talk about this video is this is like the part, this is like the finale of my Surface Book 2 review because if I just ended it at where the video was, I would be, there, there are some key points that need to be added before you're like, okay, I know everything about the Surface Book 2. So here, here it goes. So. Normally my video quality is like 1080p, nothing crazy, and the video editing normally wouldn't take more than a day of work. Um, like I could record a video in early morning or late afternoon, and then I could edit the video either the next day or same day and render it out in enough time to where I can upload it either next day or a couple hours from then because for just honestly like the amount of time that I do have with everything going on such as portfolio my full-time job I couldn't put more time than I have been in my videos which I feel bad about because I really do love making YouTube videos um, so that was a setback. So the two tech products that gave out on me was my Canon point and shoot camera and my Surface Book 2. When I first got my computer, it saved me from an entire quarter of work. I was not just me, but my entire class was behind because the computers at school kept crashing from the projects that we were being given. So pretty much everyone in the class was just barely passing. And I got the Surface Book 2 like about midway through the quarter and it saved me. Like, I was able to actually render out my project, I was able to actually work on stuff, and the actual render speed was phenomenal. So without the Surface Book 2, I would have totally failed that class along with a lot of my other classmates. So I really appreciated that. Now that, it was like that for a good quarter. The next quarter was also pretty decent. Um, but to kind of skip ahead a little bit because I don't want this to be too long of a video for you um, or myself for that matter. So the computer started out amazing. And then over time, it slowed down significantly overheated like crazy but it was enough to where I could work on it I just couldn't draw on it at all because it's a two-in-one computer so you can take a pen and draw on the screen but it was this display was so hot that you couldn't even rest your hand on it and draw because it was so hot so 
so I couldn't use it for like the big reason why I loved it so much was sketching and drawing. I really liked it for that because I could use full Photoshop and do professional sketching with it. And then, I mean, that worked for a while and then it just slowed down. And then a little later after that, about two months later, after it was like really was so, then it just kept crashing. Like, applications would crash, the computer itself would crash, and then I started getting the blue screen, and I almost had it. I was like, I can't do any work now. I don't know what happened from the beginning to now, but I can't function like this. I can't do any work. So, when I got my computer, I did get a protection plan from it, and I went over to Best Buy so that I could get it looked at. And my estimation of what was happening to the computer is that either the graphics card was going bad or the something was wrong with the hard drive. I didn't think it'd be anything else. But when I took it to Best Buy, they had to ship out the device. And the original technician I spoke with was very knowledgeable. He was very nice to me. And he pretty much walked me through the process of beginning to end of like what it would be like. He said the device will most likely be replaced or um, repaired. I was like, okay. So I waited two weeks. And between the first day and the last day, I got no updates whatsoever. So I had no idea what was going on. And then like two days before picked up, I got an email saying the V repair is done. What repair? Like you didn't say what you were repairing with the device. Was it the graphics card? Was it the hard drive? Was it something else wrong with it? Didn't say. So the only notification that I got was your device is repaired from something and your device is ready for pickup. I didn't get anything else. And long story short, when I picked up my device, I was told that nothing was wrong with it, that there was a really bad update that came out. So they updated the device and nothing else was wrong with it. And I took their word for it. I brought my computer home and within five minutes of looking at it, blue screen. You know, the blue screen of death when your computer crashes and you get that brownie face, that's the blue screen of death. I got that and I was like, this is the same exact thing I got when I originally brought it in. And I checked for updates and it wasn't updated since the day before, like the day of that I brought it in because I updated it right before I went to Best Buy. After that, I did a reset on my computer and it worked for a while. Um, because they said they were gonna do a reset if nothing was wrong internally, like if they're gonna find anything and they didn't do that. So I reset it myself and I put most of my stuff back on it, not everything, because I didn't know what the next step would be. And I was able to use it. It was just like bottlenecking slow. Like I couldn't get a lot done, but I could get something done, which was honestly enough for me. Like the fact that I could be like, hey, I finished a part of this. I felt good about it. Now the quality of my work was substantially less appealing. Um, but at least, like, I had something. It was, I, I wasn't happy about it. So, but I, I decided to push through and see how much more I could get out of the laptop before bringing it back to Best Buy. 
because I just didn't, I didn't, I wouldn't say procrastinate from bringing it to Best Buy. I would just say I wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt that they did something with the computer, but the fact that they couldn't be honest about what they were doing with the service and not update me was a problem. And so how I got a new computer is this. I brought it back to Best Buy and when I made the appointment to come in, because I just, every time I go to Best Buy, I make an appointment when it comes to like Geek Squad. I took it to Best Buy and before, backtrack a little bit. When I made the appointment in the comments, I put a brief summary of what my issues were and that I had actual proof of my issues because I did take photos and videos and I didn't put that in my service book review video but I'll put it in the b-roll of this video um but like I wasn't making this stuff up and so I put a brief issue and I kept it nice and then I put in detail what my experience was at Best Buy's Geek Squad. And because I had the Geek Squad protection, the two managers that I spoke with at Best Buy took care of me. They were like, we'll go ahead and replace your device. Do you want to get the same one? Or did you want to go with something else? And I thought about it for a while. And I said, you know what? I think I'll pick something else. And I do appreciate your help with that. So I got, because of the entire situation, I got the full retail value that I paid for, for the Surface Book 2 towards something else. And I went back to Mac because I've I've been doing some research recently and ever since like right before the iMac Pro was released Apple did a lot of software updates and a lot of optimization to their hardware and software towards Maya and other Autodesk products and then with um stuff with Adobe so the performance got substantially better and the user interface was comparable to what you get out of a PC so I was like you know what I'll give it a chance let's see how it goes and it's so it's so much better and the computer doesn't overheat which is also really nice but long story short I decided to go with the MacBook Pro 2018. I went with a 15 inch with 32 gigs of RAM and a Core i9 processor and the Radeon Pro 555X. And I gotta say, I know I say I gotta say a lot, so I'll, I'll make this last bit quick. I am beyond satisfied with my purchase because I have a device that I can not only rely on, but I got taken care of. And, you know, mistakes happen sometimes where there's either a situation that's not dealt with right away or at all. And what matters is how the next step is after that. How do you deal with that service? And how do you deal with a device that you did research on and ended up not being what you were hoping for? So I just wanted to say to end my communication about the Surface Book 2 of my videos a little bit. Um, 
is this. I don't, I'm not gonna say to not buy the Surface Book 2, but it's not a device that you can really do 4K video editing on normally. You can render 4K sometimes, but if you're trying to edit 4K, it can be really laggy. And I think that doing occasional productivity on it is understandable. But I would not buy this for a workstation and I wouldn't buy it for something you can render on all the time. And then I wouldn't buy it for a device that you would say, hey, I'm gonna do high production level work with this. Just because of my personal experience with it, but your machine might be perfectly fine or you might have totally different issues, but for productivity, for sketching, and for light workstation use, it's perfect. But just for what I was looking for, it's not what I needed. But that, that does it for today's episode. Please like this video and subscribe. Every subscription counts. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.